Okay, we were talking about Rick Barnes and his second act, and it made me wonder, does Philip Fulmer look at Rick Barnes and think, why didn't I do that? Now, granted, Rick Barnes was fired at Texas and knew he was coming to Tennessee before Within the press two conference. Minutes. Before yeah. the press conference. Yeah. Yeah. He knew. Yeah. We'll see yeah. you again soon. <laughs> Gets off here in Knoxville, walks to another podium. Uh, Philip Fulmer didn't have those kind of offers. No one reported on any of that. There have been... People that are close to him have talked, well, he could have gone to Kansas. I heard he could have gone to B.C. because Gene DiFilippo, I think, was the AD up there. But there was no, you know how that works. The agent leaks it to the national writer. The national writer says the school's talking to so-and-so. Nobody talked about any schools talking to Philip Fulmer. That said, I do think in 2009 or 2010, if he takes a year off, if he pushed it, man, won a national title. He's a college football Hall of Famer. If he'd pushed it, he could have gotten a job. Does he look at it and say, I could have gone to Texas and built them up and won, a, won titles the way Rick Barnes is? Most people have a, 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 a view of themselves that I could do this. Do you think he looks at it, and, and I say Texas because that's where Barnes came from, just putting it in context. Do you think he looks at it and thinks, man, man I wish I'd had a second shot somewhere? Or do you think he's just happy it, it worked out the what way it worked did? out? I think he's made enough money from a business perspective off of Tennessee people that maybe that would have gotten hurt if he would have gone somewhere else to have been the coach. I also don't think if he would have had a Tennessee-level offer coming from Texas yes. to Tennessee, I think I think he would yeah, have taken that, that all sense. along, right? That makes yeah. sense. But, but it wasn't like that's what was going offers. to happen, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, is he going to go to media, Mexico? Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. where was he going to go? So it just. But after a year, I don't know who came open, but don't you think he could have pushed for it? He might not have gotten a, a long-time legacy program the, bar, the way that Barnes stepped into a good program, top 25 kind of all-pro, all-time team. Uh, but he could have gotten something decent, couldn't he? I mean, I, Les I Miles think he, was willing I, to go I to Kansas. I think he probably could have. Yeah. If you look at it to me, Tennessee basketball, when Rick Barnes came here, so let's call it it was even with Purdue football. Eh, it's not bad, but it's yeah. not great. Yeah. Oh, all time, could, you mean just kind of an overall? Yes, yeah. yeah. So, could Coach Fulmer have gone to like a Purdue or someplace like that? Illinois, yeah. Uh, I think yeah. he probably could have. And it would be interesting to see what that would have done for his legacy. But I also think one of the knocks against him when he, before he got fired was he kind of lost the fire. Yeah. He wasn't going on recruiting trips during the open yeah, day. He may have maybe, lost it a little bit earlier. Maybe taking something, you know. Well, he so didn't maybe start that's the reason fire. he didn't. But <laughs> it I, was always I, burning. I, I wonder if I wonder if in retrospect, if you could back up all those years, he said, Yeah, I, I wished I had gone after one of those. Yeah, and I also think that he started to get his eyes on the athletic director job, to tell you the truth. And he would come back to be the athletic director of the very program that fired him. And he could make a million dollars a year doing that. And he could stay very grounded with his family, very happy here, had grandkids. He was coaching their little league team. I just think he would have had to put the staff together. They would have had to been able to. There were so many other factors. Yeah, it could have happened, but it would have had to be in the absolutely ideal situation. Was he as motivated a person? I mean, we're getting, this is outside looking in. Was he as motivated as it now appears Rick Barnes? I don't think so. Rick Barnes so. is a driven no, guy. Yeah. No, you look I, at Philip Fulmer and think that's the reason he guy. never pursued mm-hmm. a job. Look at the, th- the three guys he had as his finalists when he became the AD to hire. He, was, he did not evolve, right? I mean, he yeah. was trying to get three yards in a cloud of dust. We went with defense, and that's just not football anymore. So I don't know that he would have had the same evolution that Rick Barnes did. Right. And Rick Barnes said, hey, I want to coach offense now. I don't think Philip Fulmer was going to say, we're throwing it all over the yard, boys. Air raid, here we come. Well, I yeah. remember an interview he did. Somebody yeah. asked him after Kiffin left, and they said, what would you do if they came back to you? And he said, well, I'd get my staff back together. Right. And I thought, that's the wrong answer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's not the right answer. You don't want to just go get your staff back together. That's what got you fired. You know. So maybe he wouldn't have evolved. I don't know that he's as, as driven. I didn't know Barnes was this driven. Yeah. Again, no. he and Izzo are the last of the old dogs to just say, you know, I, I hate all this crap, but let's do it. Well, it's a new challenge. It's impressive. It. I, I, don't, I wouldn't be. I don't think but I would no. be there. To something no. Bob said, you put a resume on somebody's desk that has got an opening. This coach's record is 152 and 52. He's won a national championship. He's yep. won league championships. He's played for this. He's put these players into pros. You think he would have got an offer, wouldn't you? 
Well, well, I will say this. Yeah. If you're giving me the choice between what he did as an athletic director and being a football coach again, I'd say the football coach might have improved his legacy. <laughs> yeah. the I it. But I will tell you, there was a national championship winning coach when Philip Fulmer was the athletics director that couldn't get a call back. And that person's representation reached out to me and asked, can you try to just tell the boosters or something and get my guy a, and this was a national championship winning coach. Yep. And in football, yeah, and Who was but it turned out it was Phil it, it, it rhymes with Schmesh Miles, yeah. <laughs> that's what his name reminds me. Yeah. And, oh. and Tennessee would not take the phone call, <laughs> right? So, and I do think a lot of it is about perception, Check for right? Philip Fulmer. <laughs> I was yeah. gonna say, perception, Fulmer wasn't seen as being on the cutting edge of any particular scheme or right. style yeah. of play, and right? That, that hurt him, I think. Well, he was what, a guy what who needed David the best play, yeah. yeah, yes. Yeah, well, yeah, you can look at the numbers. David we did that. I, I think playoff. that's the thing, Fulmer was looked at a great as a great recruit, right. And those Santa Claus now, eyes, I've but, said it a million and, and times. And is it any is it any surprise then that that's what he hired in Jeremy Pruitt? This guy who was supposed to be a yeah. great recruiter yeah. and whose big thing was Defense. I'm gonna we're Defense. gonna we're gonna build this up and if I don't do it this year, we're gonna clear out and I'm gonna bring in twenty five more guys. Yeah. Where how are you gonna be in Alabama and Georgia? <laughs> out recruit them. And, okay. And if we're talking, <laughs> you're not gonna last that long. <laughs> yeah. Even with Chick fil A bags, Start you're not gonna bus. last that long. And if we're talking about legacy too, if he went to an Illinois or Virginia, someplace like that, could he have done enough to build on anything he did at Tennessee to improve how we uh, view him? I mean I think yeah, I mean, it could have been it, it could have been like Johnny Majors who yeah. went back to Pitt. It was right, not as right, good the right. second time so around. I, so right. I think he probably helped his legacy more by just letting his Tennessee work stand on its own. We, we pointed back to it so many times through the next three coaching tenures and said, will Tennessee ever reach that level again? And it was a fair question for 15 years. So I think, yeah. I think he might have hurt his legacy by going to a lesser program. All right. Yeah.